an ardent reader now and I was in need of a quiet and serene environment to study and started to ask Google. Hmm. I eventually found one that caught my attention. It is the Shell Musa Yaradwa Centre, located at One Memorial Drive in Abuja Central Business District. So I had to hit the road. On getting there, I found out that the centre has an exhibition hall where they displayed the life and times of Shell Musa Yaradwa. It also has a research library, which made me come there. And it has a conference facility, an auditorium, meeting rooms, garden pavilion. And the center can be booked for events such as business meetings, conferences, parties, etc., etc. Now, the show Mr. Yaradwa Center was built by his friends, family, and associates to honor his legacy. That's a nice one. And for the exhibition center, the entry is free. And the exhibition center contains all about him, his uniforms, his life and times and prison and whatnot. Now it offers the story behind his arrest and everything that has to do with him. Trust me, you're going to enjoy it. Now, if you love history, you need to see this place because it contains a lot. You would even see the Nigerian constitution. You're going to see a lot of stuff. Like, there's a lot to learn here. Now, back to the main reason I got here. It was the library I was looking for. Yeah, finally, I got into the library and I was denied access because I came in late and it was fully booked. Now this library is a very clean, quiet and cozy library and the membership cost 15,000 Naira a year, I had no idea. This gives you access to the space and books, it's also a, a cool place and a cool space for work. It was so obvious it was on high demand, I was advised to check in the following months. And if you're an ardent reader like me or a student or even searching for a quiet space to write or work. The Obasanjo Research Library should be your go-to. And please remember to check in early. I had to my visit. I didn't know who exactly he was. I only knew he was a brother to our former president, Omar Musayaradwa. Now, I found out that Sheo Musayaradwa was a former vice president of Nigeria. He was from, from Castina State. He was a military officer, a major general at that, a politician, a well-seasoned politician and the de facto vice president of Nigeria as chief of staff at the Supreme Headquarters when Nigeria was still under the military rule from 1976 to 1979. He was born on the 5th of March 1943, died 8th December 1997, aged 54. He was married to Haija Binta and like I said earlier, he was a major general. Now, this was his death and the story surrounding his arrest. He was sentenced to death by a military tribunal in 95 after calling on the Nigerian military government of General Sani Abacha and his provisional ruling council to re-establish civilian rule. He was committed to life in prison, but he died in captivity on the 8th of December 1997 such a story thanks for watching and this is what the garden looks like it's a very beautiful sight to behold bye see you next time when i drop my next video ciao